All right, we're finished. I want to do an update. So, garage still needs to be cleaned out, but our garage door barely clears, but it does. We use the jack drive. Reason we did that is this our barn door build, and the engineer was nice enough to give us extra long glue lamps, even though we didn't need it. So we had to switch it out for a steel beam. There's the only trace of the steel building that you can kind of see in here. Um, so this turned out really nice. We've got extra wide garage. We did a two-story build, and so our height is a little smaller, so that's why I had to squeeze that beam in there to get the door open. We ended up doing uh, some hotel carpet. So it's nice and tight for the mud. So if we get mud in here, uh, it'll come out of this carpet, hopefully. We've still got some stuff to clean up. Here's the front door. There's that door. Um, so we're on the second story right now, if you didn't notice. And so there's the front door again. And then this is how the kitchen turned out. Left some drawers open. So you can see the ceiling's turned out pretty good. We're nice and vaulted. Feels really nice and open up in here. Um, got the nice fan going. Here's our laundry room. I think the only thing I would have checked on, double checked and triple checked, is I probably should have put that over there and rotated these, but still works. And there's still room for a shelf. Here is the bedrooms. This is one of the kids' bedrooms. Here's the closet. Here's the kids' bathroom, I guess, or small bathroom. Oh, nice little light fridge. This vaulted in here too. It turned out really good. It feels nice and spacious when you step in here. We box that, um, but it's still, I don't know, 15 feet up there. And so this is one of those tricky spots. This is that beam I was talking about from the garage floor. It comes up and we box that. Um, the tricky part is with the glue lamb the engineer originally used, because this is on a second story, um, they thought that there was a roof load and a snow load, which there clearly isn't because it's inside the steel building. Um, we had to set that beam in the garage so that way we could push the floor down and have uh, clearance there. So there's almost oh, six and a half feet clearance under the low spot right there. Um, but we added these nice can lights so you have some good lighting in here. And our doors. And we even ended up with a little closet. This was tricky to get snuck in here with all the closets on the back. We didn't have enough granite for this, so we found this and we thought it kind of meshed, kind of mixed everything together. I like the way it turned out. This was a remnant that someone had um, at their shop. They used to give you this stuff, but not anymore. This actually costs quite a bit, but it, I like it. Turns out it finishes off the kitchen. We had that painted um, by a professional painter just because we're not that good at painting, but it turned out nice and smooth. Um, last time I think I gave an update. We didn't have this deck cut out. This was just a wall. Oh, it's locked. There we go. You can kind of see we did the fascia and soffit. Came all the way out here. Did a drip rail off of the original siding. You can kind of see the siding up there. Maybe like that. We did siding. Not so sure about this stuff. Everybody says it works great. It's waterproof vinyl flooring. Um, there's our handrail. We have a bunch of construction debris. We're going to clean that up this weekend. There's our dumpster right there. And uh, outside. We did the double doors just so it let more light in. Um, and it was better than doing just a window. We'll probably just keep this door locked. And always use this one right here. And this has the built-in blinds. Here's the master. 
We got a fan in here. It's pretty high in here. I think the bottom of the wall right there is eight feet. And so it kind of steps up from there and you can kind of see it when you go like this. It turned out really good. Then we did um, the closet, finished that out. This turned out really nice. I wasn't sure what to do with this curve right here. It curves in, so we just left it. Here's that other beam. You can see we just kind of hit it. You can't even tell it's there. Looks like it's just part of the wall. And this turned out, I really like the way this turned out. And there's that beam again, you can kind of see. Um, and then here's the master bathroom. I like this mirror, fits perfectly. And then I call this our lightning tile. And then I like this little spot right here we added. Do a laundry basket or shelf or whatever. So yeah, that's the tour. We're finally done. Um, the only thing left to do is pave the dirt outside. And call it a day. I wish I would have updated you guys along this process, but doing this was really hard. A lot of obstacles, um, a lot of things to learn. Um, if you guys have any questions, just uh, comment down below, let me know. Um, I'm sure everybody asks how much it costs. I haven't figured that out yet as far as square footage go. But this is about 20, no, this is about 1200 square feet. Um, and the garage is on this side. I think the garage wall is about right there. So all the cars you'll park right there. And then from about right there over underneath is just storage. And we could have made that one big room um, if I was building this and it was my only residence on the property, I would have just built out that room down there. And then this would have been a 2,400 square foot house. It would turn out pretty good. So let me know if you guys have any questions, comment, subscribe. This is my barn door build that we finally finished. And that is our upstairs vents that go into the different rooms um, to supply them air. This side has floor vents. This side has ceiling vents because we have the giant blue lamps that run across the floor here. Okay, thanks everyone.